Hello everyone, it's once again me, CarCutter99, and today we are going to see if it's venomous or not. I welcome you back to Reptile Planet. Now, saying that when you live in South Florida, you think a lot of the tropical beaches, the beautiful sunset, but also it's the wildlife that's also amazing. And here are two snakes that people do get a little confused on when they're trying to identify the two. Now, look at the top you see the eastern coral snake and on the bottom you'll see the scarlet king snake. See the eastern coral snake is a highly venomous species found in South Florida. They have a red, yellow, and black banding. They, they are pretty amazing animals but are very dangerous. And at the bottom you have the scarlet king snake a similar color pattern but it's in a different way. They have red, black, or yellow or white bands also, but people do often get them confused since they look alike. The way you can tell from the two is the way the bands are ordered. The way you can identify this is, here's a little poem that goes along with the two. Red and black from the jack. Red and yellow kill a fellow. See, if red touches yellow, it's venomous, but if red touches black, it's harmless. See, as a coral snake, the red is touching the yellow. That means it's very, very dangerous. Well, with the scarlet king snake, you see the red is touching the black, meaning it's harmless. That's how people can get these guys confused and also mistaken them for animals that they are not. See, a lot of animals mimic others that are really not, like water snakes and mistaken for copperheads or water moccasins. See, like, that's the comparison, because in defense, the water snake will flatten its head, make it diamond-shaped, like a pit viper. That makes it often confused for a copperhead or a water snake. That's the major difference people have that think that one's dangerous and one's really not. See that every time you get confused, unless you know about a lot of animals, you'll be able to know which one's which. Which one's deadly and which one's harmless. That's the major difference that you'll be able to know when trying to compare two species. Strain should be that hard unless you know someone who knows a lot about snakes. They can help you identify which one is dangerous and which is not. I know a lot of people have often been um, mistaken for a coral snake for a king snake because it's bright, bright colors. That's actually a warning for those snakes to have predators say, Look at me, I'm dangerous. If you come near me, I'm gonna to have to strike. That's the major thing that gets people bitten and sent to the hospital. So, once you when you live in when you, once you're in Florida, you have to know which is which. I hope this video will help you identify the two, and I wish to see you once again. I am Croc Hunter 99. This is Reptile Planet. I'll see you soon.